the race is over. We've passed Tech, and we're world champions. And uh, it, it's one of those things that's not going to sink in for a while. But, uh, it, you know, Enzo came to the shop in October. We were bored to tears and came up with this crazy idea. Let's go win a world championship. And today that dream's realized. And it was so much thanks along the way for Enzo for the trust and faith in us and to put this all together. And there were a lot of decisions along the way that were easy. Uh, you know, our drivers, it was no decision that, or no contest who we were going with there. When, uh, unfortunately, when the Peugeot thing fell apart, uh, we were able to pick it. Stefan, you know, no question there. Looking for a team manager to run it. There was only one phone call to Brian here on my left, and there it was just a matter of how much you know, persistence we had to take him. No doubt, Steve was our engineer for the year, and no, you know, he's a great guy to have. And the car has been fast all year; it's been reliable. The drivers did everything, and when it came to the car, it, talking with Enzo, I'm like, "We're getting a Honda," and he's like, "We got to talk to somebody else." I'm like, "It's no decision. It's it's love the Honda. That's the car that you know everybody is scratching their head. Why didn't they buy it? We were the only people here representing Honda in the P2 class, and really happy to bring home a championship for Honda, Venezuela, and Starworks." It's a dream come true. I mean, it's like Peter said, uh, we were bored thinking about what to do, how to make it to Le Mans. Uh, the WC was the best way to go in there, and and we went in there blind. We know we had no experience. We didn't even have a budget to come to come do this because we had no experience how to do this, and we just kept that open book, going race by race, figuring it out, and choosing the right car, choosing the right people. I mean, the, the whole crew is just amazing. This, this group of guys, we're, we're a small team, but I think we had the best one on each position, and, and it showed every race. Uh, we, we got our car out of the container to every track, and we're fast. We were lucky to have, I was lucky to have Ryan and, and Stefan on, on board, and I learned a lot from them this year, like always, and it's just an amazing dream come true. I mean, for me, it's just, it's, it's, it, that's just what it is. I guess when you look back at what they did just this year, and for me, it's it's been the past uh, four seasons, I guess, of Starworks, and I don't know how many years with Peter. I've kind of lost count. It's uh, all kind of rolled into one giant year. Uh, but what they've done this year, and and like Enzo and Peter talked about, what was a crazy lunch that I made the trip from Orlando down to Fort Lauderdale to, you know, share lunch with them turned into uh, this amazing program with. Uh, just some of the most unbelievable talent I've worked with, both with the drivers and, the, and especially the crew. So it's, uh, it's really special. I mean, it's emotional. It's, uh, it's almost like you, you've kind of forgot about Le Mans just now. And then when you remember what we did at Le Mans and Sebring and, and for the team, what we did at uh, an America and Grand Am this year, winning the uh, North American Juniors Championship and so close to winning Daytona. It's, um, what a year and uh, thank you to everybody here and especially to Enzo and Peter for keeping faith in me and uh, HPD and Honda for giving us an unbelievable car, Dunlop for the great tires and uh, yeah, like Peter said, a lot of this goes to Brian for putting together such good people and uh, you know, it's been a, been a pleasure to be part of it and glad to say that we're world champions in the end. It's just amazing uh, season uh, as I said. It's just a dream, you know. So after five years in the manufacturer uh, car with Peugeot, I arrived here in this small team and uh, I realized it was very strong since Sebring. We won Sebring and third overall it was just uh, incredible. And after this race I, I was uh, thinking okay it's possible to, to win every race. So I'm very happy to be part of the team, to Star Wars team. Thanks to, um, to Peter, he called me after uh, Peugeot stopped the program. And uh, yeah, I give my maximum all the time, you know. I'm pushing in a car with my teammates and uh, I'm very happy for everybody, for the mechanics, engineer, also for Honda. The car is really good, really fast, so we show we can, uh, we can achieve the championship, so it's perfect. That's amazing, really. Um, you know, when Peter called me, I knew it was going to be difficult, uh, but he already had a lot of the key people in place. <laughs> I had no idea how difficult it was going to be. It uh, was a lot more work than I ever expected. But uh, all the people we put together, the key people that Peter already had in place, you know, the good drivers line up, great car, uh, good, good power plant, very reliable. Thank you very much for that. Made it easier for the guys not doing engine changes all the time. So, uh, but you know, we put the put the uh, assembled a group from Wales and UK and Portugal and all over the place. And logistically, it was a nightmare trying to get everybody in one place. Um, Steph came on board. You know, his misfortune was our good fortune. And you know, Enzo was nice enough to let him drive for Toyota at Le Mans. And it's a shame that Tom's not here. Tom stepped in, did a great job for us in a couple of races. 
and you know, and a lot of the people who were involved in this aren't here to enjoy it. You know, in the very beginning, back at Pete's shop, there was a lot of people who really worked hard, and they haven't got to enjoy any of this success. And they had some good success in Grand Am, and uh, I want to say thanks to them and thanks to Peter and everybody that he put together. It's been an amazing year, and you know, it hasn't hit me yet, but I'm sure I'm, I'm going to be celebrating one day here pretty soon. And I look forward to letting Steph loose in uh, in China. I had to put him on a leash and slow him down today, but I promise maximum attack, not minimum attack. So. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just really happy. I think everybody we had such a great team, and just in in every in every respect, I'm just uh, happy to be a part of it. Really, it's the, the 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 mechanics, the guys that do all, really all the work, are just so fantastic. They're unbelievable, and it makes our job uh, much easier. Because if you don't have a car like like ours, um, it doesn't matter how prepared these people are you know it's just they're 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 really the the the, the workers i think well for uh enzo and peter to have picked our combination against what was apparently the conventional wisdom uh throughout the w, the uh, wc lmp2 category was a, a real stroke of luck for us gave our uh, honda associates a chance to show what we were capable of uh we've we've really uh, uh, been excited about this since the start of the season, and it's it's just gotten better and better as it went on. Uh, for Honda Performance Development, this is our first world championship, and so we're so very thankful to the hard work of these folks to make that happen. It's uh, it's a real testament to their hard work, the hard work of our technical partners at Worth Research, the hard work of our associates back at HPD in California, and uh, it's it's just a, an amazing result and one we'll always remember. I mean, it's just a testament to relationship building. I mean, I knew Peter from his IndyCar days, but I didn't know any of these other guys. And, um, you know, it was, as Brian mentioned, it was a lot of work at the beginning to put the car together in such a short period of time. But a testimony to the quality of the work that was done by the Starworks crew. I mean, the drivers kept it on the racetrack. Fortunately, our engine held together. Um, it's just been such a reliable package, and we've proven that you know, you have to be fast, but you have to be reliable, and that's what endurance racing is about. And we've come out here, we've dominated, we've won the big races, Sebring, Le Mans, and now finally the World Championship. And, you know, these guys are, you know, should be very proud of themselves to be able to go back to America, go back to Venezuela, and go back to France and say, and Scotland even, and say, <laughs> and say we're world champions, and, and we'll be going back to California and doing the same thing. So thank you very much, everyone.